hello guys welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this tutorial we are going to explore another very interesting image processing function that is to crop an image you can see a lot of libraries and pods that you can use to uh, crop an image but i am going to show you uh, here how to draw an overlay over an image and crop that the certain area of that image in native swift so let's get started with this tutorial. I'm using my old image processing project for this purpose. So the first part is UI creation, which is pretty similar to that we have created in our earlier videos. We will be having two image views, one original image view and one filtered image view, which will show the image after uh, cropping of image, the original image. So here we are creating an overlay. Overlay is basically our selection area that we want to crop. We are setting some of its properties. It is a UI view and it will be set as hidden initially in view did load function. And we are going to show it when needed, uh, basically on our touch events. So here we are writing some of the functions that will handle the touch events. Uh, when the first uh, touch is detected, we are going to save that point. And when touches are moved uh, in that function, we are going to save the values and then use this function to draw a selection area. Follow these steps.
so this is our main function draw selection area this is basically uh, help us to create a rectangular area on our selected region and that is basically the area of the image that will be cropped and shown in the filtered image view we are creating a rect uh, with the uh, see the L, the coordinates are from point and to point and how we, we are setting it to draw the selection area it will be of a certain width and uh, height depending on our selection and this is basically the function that will be ca called in our touch moved uh, touch is moved function because uh, when we are moving the touch it will be drawing a rectangular area according to our rect in the draw selection area
so we are writing uh, an extension of UI image which will crop our uh, image according to the rect that we have selected in our draw selection area uh, function and then it will be called uh, this crop function will be called in our touches end function because we are go only going to crop when the touch events are ended and we have a selection of a certain area and then we are going to crop according to that area and show uh, in our relevant image view so here we are setting different properties of the rect so as you have seen uh, we have scaled the different uh, properties of rect it is due to the reason that we have set that image into uh, at the rate of 3x size so basically this scale is as you can see in the debugger video is 3.0 uh, i have uh, use this print object cell dot scale in the debugger video so it's the three value we also need this to basically scale our image so there will be two type of scalings one is according to the image size and another one is according to the image view because we have like bigger images and if we are showing it into a smaller screen though obviously they are going to be scaled down so these two type of scalings are very important when we are going to show the um, our cropped area scaled according to our scale of the original image because if we are not going to handle it uh, a wrong part of the image will be shown as a cropped area so you have seen that i'm using the cropping function to rect in the extension ui image and it has uh, passed a scale and orientation which is of that original image on which the crop uh, function is called and then it is returning an image and I'm using this crop function inside our touches ended function. You can see here I'm writing this code, passing it the CG rect. And this CG rect will be scaled according to scale X and scale Y properties in the touches ended function. And as you can see, both of these properties, uh, these values are set according to the scaling of input image with respect to our original image view. So once we are done with the touches uh, uh, moved, touches began, uh, draw selection area and touches ended function with a uh, UI image extension, uh, we are done with the code. And now we are going to run it and see how different areas of the image are cropped and shown in the image. I have uh, intentionally uh, used multiple tests of cropping different sizes of area uh, in different orientations so that we can uh, know uh, how perfectly this code is working so guys this is all for this video uh, as you have seen we have written a crop function which is successfully cropping uh, different dimensions and different aspect ratio of rectangles and showing uh, this into another image view which is our filtered image view uh, if you have any questions regarding this code or any of my previous video, post in the comments, subscribe this channel and follow for more interesting upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye.